our goal is using npm react icons library to easily add unlimited icons so there are several thousand of approaches a lot of libraries a lot of ways that you can use to add icons but i will not talk about everything i will just talk about one approach that has a lot of icons in it that you will use and then you will may not you may not need to use any other library so <clears throat> it will fulfill most of your requirements so let's let's quickly jump jump into that so first of all we will set up next.js project make sure that your next.js app is created if not then uh, you have to create your next.js project with this command if you enter that it will ask you a few questions or options then you will have to select those options like it will ask you to pick typescript and it will ask you if you want to use a tailwind css or not so i already have ran this command and created my project and i am using typescript and tailwind css and it is already currently running in my browser so this is the project that that i created and it is running here in my browser okay so once your project is set up and ready then you will install the dependencies so we will install only one dependency that is react icons so that is the npm library if you want to look at that just open the npm website and search for the react icons you will find it that it is available and it is very popular that you can see from the weekly downloads further they have a website so if you open the website you will see the very beautiful layout that has the documentation and the demo for all of the type of icons so it has the icon sets of different kinds like art design icon bootstrap icons box icons uh, hero icons and a lot of type of icons so i think these are unlimited for us so it will fulfill most of our needs so for example if you want to uh, access weather icon if you click on that you will have the list of a lot of weather related icons if you click on that and you will see these and if you click on the box icon then you will have a lot of box icons and you can explore it by your own so once you are ready you have to install it so let's go back to the home page and this is the command that you can copy or you can type yourself open your uh, vs code editor and in the root directory of your project run this command okay so give it some time once it is installed we will start using it okay the dependency has been installed so once it is installed we will go to the our page.tsx in our app directory and you can open any component or any page so in my case i will be using the page.tsx and then you will have to import your desired icon so this is the just an example you can import any icon so let me show you practically so let's go back to the page.tsx and on the top actually let me get rid of all of this generated code that came with the next next year cli and instead of that i will add this simple content and you can see that it is visible i will get rid of the image and further if you go to the global there is a lot of code that you can get rid of as well okay now on the top i will import my icon from the react icons okay and within that uh, you will have the suggestion so for example uh, let so for example you want to import the font or some icon so for that you will simply add slash and if you type slash you will see the list of all of uh, possible kind of icons so actually these are the categories that you saw in the demo website like here so you can see these are all of all of the icons so for example if you want to use the weather icons you have to click on that and you will see that you have to import the wi for the weather icon okay now let's uh, open our vs code and here let's say i want to add weather icon and after this uh, you have to import the icon so for example i want to import this icon if you click on that it will give you the syntax that you can copy or you can manually type as well so let's say i try to type this and it will give me suggestion night alt cloudy or what let me use the exactly same one and now once that is done below you will use that icon in this way and if you open your browser you will see that icon would be visible in this way right now it is too small uh, to see clearly so in order to make it visible let me increase its size to increase increase its size you can add style tag style attribute on it and pass some style like font this or maybe like now it is too much big that's why i cannot see let me reduce it okay you can see that uh, this icon is very 
clearly visible you can control its font size easily and to you can increase the size of the icon with the font size so i think that's all for this video uh, i hope that this video was useful for you if you think that it was useful then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified for any of my upcoming videos also please like and share this video and if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section and i will do my best to reply them as soon as possible